So we're back with episode two with Mr. Clutch, who is a Mutt Master, and he's going to walk me through on how to play Madden Ultimate Team. And the next step that we're going to take is adjusting our lineup so that we can get on the field. So where do I go from here? So, Mr. Smitty, okay, so to set your lineup, you want to go over to the fourth panel under the team section. Okay. And um, right now you just started, so you got all bronze players. <laughs> but don't worry, they'll be gold and red soon enough. Okay, so all this right. is your current lineup. Each stack shows your depth chart at one position. Select a player to substitute or choose a player options to add contracts. I think we talked about right. contracts in the last video, right? Did we? Yes, yeah. sir, we sure did, yep. Okay, so you can also change your team styles or manage multiple lineups in lineup tools. Exactly. Okay. So I'm going to go through pretty much all that stuff right now. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory as far as adding players to positions. If you've ever played Madden before, then you know you know you want to have certain stats for your certain players in certain positions. Your line, your linemen are at the top. You have your tight end at the top too, and then across the bottom you have all your skill players for offense. Okay. Um, now, if you go up, say we want to click on your left tackle one, go up and click on him. The way you set your lineup, you're going to want to click on the first square. It'll be ordered, obviously, just like a, a normal depth chart. I think the pictures actually makes it really easy. So uh, you can tell who's who's starting, second string, third string. Um, click on your left tackle, though, and you'll and be able I to click on see. By pressing square or X? I'm so used to pressing X, but X. here it says player option. Okay. So X, yeah. yeah. You want to hit square. Okay. So this is the um, compare items section. Uh, it's a little different from if you're going to look at your player from the player items binder, um, but either way you'll get to see different stats and stuff and you can look at the other options on the card that we kind of flipped through the last video. Um, but you can close that little tutorial out. So um, basically you're going to see the, team, the player overall in the corner, the upper right hand corner of your card. Um, but Please don't get hung up on the general overall. Um, I'll start this video off by saying as far as players go, uh, we'll get into like specific stats in uh, the future videos, but your team overall and your player overall doesn't always speak to how good or bad your team actually is. There is a lot of cards out there. They call them gems in the mutt world, um, but there's a lot of cards out there where they might not have a, a huge overall or they might be... Um, you know, a gold card or a even a silver card that has a bad overall stat, but they have a lot of gems, meaning their specific stats are pretty good, which makes them a good card, and not a lot of people know about them. So, um, but anyway, so that'll be your total overall. Um, you'll see their height, all that stuff. Um, the key stats, if you hit R1 uh, all the way to the last pane, you will show the key stats for each player. They designate that based on your position. Um, and then on the last pane, you'll be able to go through and see every single stat if you hold the right analog stick down. So you can oh. kind of go through and, and see. Yeah, oh, um, see. that's the key stats. But yeah, if you go all, exactly to the last page, you can see every stat for every player. Um, the main screen, the one in the middle, will kind of show you just the key stats for each position. Um, so you want to... You want to kind of look at the key stats the most, but once you start comparing, you know, I got two 80 overall players, they got about the same key stat ratings, you know, like two linemen, then you want to go into the stuff that um, they don't necessarily show on the main page. You can kind of figure out who you think um, would be better. You know, if one person, for example, uh, is a strong safety, they might not show hit power on the main screen or, you know, as one of their key stats, but it's important to know for a strong safety what their hit power is or something like that then. Those are the for other sure. stuff you want to use this game to kind of compare. Right. So. What EA uses as to make their overalls isn't necessarily what we as Madden players like for ratings. They're not going to exactly. put, a, like if you have a 99 hit power guy, it's really not going to change his overall. But for exactly. us, we love a 99 hit power. So my exactly. first question here exactly. that I see is, I guess my left tackle here, Ryan Schrader, and then I see Stephen mm -hmm. Goodwin is my center. So I'm comparing these right. players. I don't actually have a second left tackle, right? On my team, I don't actually exactly. have it. Exactly. So far, you do not. So the number 34 on Stephen Gooden's card, um, is that yeah. his overall at left tackle, or is that just his overall at center? In general. Right. 
No, that's a good question. Um, that's actually will be his overall as a left tackle. Okay. So his his normal overall is a 54. You can kind of see it in the background shadow. He's actually a starting center. Oh, I see background <laughs> sorry, shadow sorry right about there that. in the middle. Okay. Yep. But they, I like that, though. I mean, it kind of gives you a idea of what their overall would be based on that position. Now, I won't show you all of your players, but it'll show you anybody that is eligible to play the position that you're currently clicked on. So left tackles can be either tackles, guards, or centers, anybody pretty much on the line. I don't I don't know if they let you put interior tackles or um, interior guards as – I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, interior guards as tackles, um, but I know they let you put, like, pretty much anybody – as an outside um as an outside lineman left or right tackle so you can basically scroll through all of the linemen on your team on that right hand side if you hit down on the left analog stick and you'll be able to see like what everyone how they would all rack up against your current starter so right now mr shredder (laughs) is your uh starting left tackle and he would be the guy that you compare all your other players to. This can be an advantage um, kind of when you get down the road, when you're looking for those key stats, the ones that aren't necessarily on that main screen. Or if you want to look for a player that, well, for say you want to run a 3-4 um, uh, defense and you want an outside linebacker that's fast and has a good block shed or something like that, uh, you can kind of scroll through all of the players that you have available to play outside linebacker, whether they be defensive ends, uh, middle linebackers, or outside linebackers, and put the person with those best attributes that you're looking for at the outside linebacker position. And then you'll be able to see so their overall at the With position. all these guys here, these are all the eligible exactly. people that can play left tackle. Exactly. Okay, exactly. that's good because I so, wasn't quite sure at first when I just saw these two comparisons. I didn't notice the C. So I right. just thought, yep. okay, I was looking at Stephen Gooden. I was like, well, he's better than Schrader. But then right. now I realize it's because he's actually a different position. So Exactly, okay. exactly. Yep. So and then uh, the, that card, actually, the Goodwin, uh, the Gooden card, um, you see a blue dot on him. If you remember from the first video, we talked about chemistry. So that is actually his chemistry. Um, and Ryan on the left side, I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name. <laughs> he does He's not have a chemistry. <laughs> oh, Schrader? Schrader, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. But yeah, he doesn't have a chemistry. So um, if you put him in your lineup, then you won't be getting any any chemistry points that you see at the top right of your main screen oh, if you um, use it. So if I go with Schrader, no chemistry. If I go with good, exactly. I've got chemistry. Okay. Correct. If that is, which is the good to know in the future, if Gooden happened to be a left tackle, and I'm deciding between two different guys. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Yep. See, for I'll me, say most I... players. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, uh, mo- most players um will will have chemistry. Only the really really bad ones that you get when you first start won't have chemistries. But okay. um, very soon when you start getting like real players that you'll actually be able to use in a game, you will be able to get players with chemistry. Okay. See, I always liked this screen when I would see it. You know, shout out to S. Gibbs and Z. Farrells. I watch him <laughs> every week. Yeah, me too. You know, yeah. even though I don't really pay attention that much, I just kind of like to listen to them because they play months or whatever. It hasn't been a right. thing as of yet. But I always loved this screen. I always thought if I ever understood how to play Mutt, I know that I like I love how it would show the ratings like this like I always kind of looked at the screen and thought wow that looks kind of cool so at least now I kind of understand (laughs) what it's all about yeah exactly I mean I like this I think that um, even if you were playing ranked games for them to kind of do a screen like this to compare your players when you're setting your depth chart maybe not in the game but at some 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 part during you know the depth chart lineup menu or something for you to be able to do this I think would be cool Okay, but so now I just uh, back out anything. here. Yep. So right off so the you bat, can back out to your lineup screen. What I'm going to do is the f- the first thing that I saw because I know myself is Logan right. Thomas. To me, Logan Thomas is an amazing quarterback in this game, despite his ratings. So right. how would I go about getting him in the lineup? So I would just click on the starter card, which happened. Right. To be B.J. Daniels, and then just scroll down with the left analog stick, and then just press yep. X to swap items. Correct. And you would and be so starting um, Logan Thomas. 
Perfect. And another person that so, I like right off the gate is Jeff Demps. So how do yeah. I see his ratings? Let's say that I, I know by now that each card has different ratings. So how do I see if he's actually got some speed the way that Jeff Demps has some speed? Right. So you'd want to just hit X and click on his card? Hit X, click on it. Yeah, oh, right. And it should bring That's his right. card up and oh, compare okay, his, okay. just like you were comparing anybody. Uh, yeah, that you was know, a really the dumb question. Okay. No, you're good. You're good. And you're I didn't actually see, <laughs> I didn't see Logan Thomas speed. What's he get? Ah, 78, <laughs> you know, 78. whatever. It's early, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, one key note, too, that I'm going to um, inject here because it's a good point. Um, so when you first started your team, you got a Johnny Manziel card, right? You right. also got a Tom Brady card um, that went down and went down to uh, 80 overall. The Madden season players that we were talking about last week, and um, they came out with the Deion Sanders this week, those will be 92. It's probably going to go up more and more as the season goes on. Um, but there'll be a 92, 91, at least overall elite card. And they'll drop to a 80 overall, kind of like how Tom Brady did from last episode to this episode. So all of his stats go down a couple points. And um, so if you have somebody in as a starter and they're set as them being an elite player expires and they go down to a goal player, that's something you want to adjust for before you start a game because they will not take them out just because they're overall and down. They won't automatically um, set the lineup to put the better player in just because his overall went down. So okay. that's something to be careful of. Now, who would you start, Johnny Manziel or Tom Brady? At this point, starter, 10-point differential, right. but the speed is okay, so, big. Yeah, exactly. So this is how I would decide. Um, first of all, when you want to compare two players and neither one of them is, are, neither, neither one of them is your starter, you're going to want to start one of them. So for now, just to, 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 for the argument, let's start Tom Brady. Okay. Sorry, I did actually click on Manziel. But, uh... Oh, you could. Either way, it doesn't matter. You can stay on him. Okay. So now you can compare Johnny Manziel and Tom Brady side to side. So um, with quarterbacks, there's not a lot to tell outside of their, um, their key stats. Uh, the main thing you're going to want to look at is speed if you want a mobile quarterback, uh, and then the throw power, throw accuracy, and um, the play action. Uh, so me personally, you got 90, 86 throw power. Anything under 90 is not going to get it done. Um, right. So I'm sorry. I'm sacrificing. I'm going to sit in the pocket and, and throw dots all day with Tom Brady before I'm going to try to scramble around and throw balls in the dirt. I knew that was going to be your answer because I've seen you play, and you rarely ever yeah. roll out of the pocket anyway. So yeah. I knew that was going to be your answer. <laughs> now, I'm so, not, no, okay. so if you're starting your team, Johnny Manziel is not a bad quarterback. Me personally, I won't be. I wouldn't be able to use him because I have a higher overall team now, and so I'll be playing against other players that also have higher overall teams. So Johnny Manziel will get eaten alive. But for you, if you were to go start a game right now against another online ranked up player, hopefully, and how it's supposed to work is you should get matched up with somebody who's a similar overall to yours. So you should be getting somebody that has bronze and silver players on their team. So Johnny Manziel won't look quite as bad. Okay. If that so, was the case, I, I might go Johnny just, you know, to, to roll right. out and have some fun. Okay. So I've got Brady as my starter. I've got um, my offense is – I haven't really looked at it much, but at this point, are you really going to get into – I guess the question people want to know, are you really going to get into really looking at everything to set your lineup? Like I guess you want to make sure right from game right. one that your lineup is set to its absolute right. best. Correct. Right, so you want to go that through is, defense and everything. That is actually an amazing question, and you just set up my next topic perfectly. So at the bottom of the screen, you have a lot of different options. One of the best options to use is the lineup tools, which is triangle. What I would do when I first start my team is I would go to the lineup tools. In the lineup tool, they will generate your best lineup based on the, all of the cards that you have, and then you can either have them, um, so click on Generate Best Lineup. Okay. Show the difference. Now there's Generate Best Lineup based on team overall, which will put the best players for each position 
at their starting position. Kind of like when you auto arrange your depth chart when you're playing a rank game. And then you can also um, set your depth chart to the best to fit your team chemistry. So for example, every player whose chemistry is short pass would be on your team opposed to somebody who's not short pass. So for example, Johnny Manziel is only a 70 overall, but they would put him as your starter above Tom Brady because he's short pass. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. Okay, cool. Normally, I do not arrange my team chemistry, my um, my lineup based on my team chemistry. I care more about having better players in than having better chemistry. The benefit you get out of having better players, especially in the beginning, really outweighs the benefit you have of having good chemistry, in my opinion. We're going to get into um, individual attributes later to answer your other question, maybe in a video or two down the road. Um, for now, I would go to just click on best team overall, and it'll automatically generate the best players so you don't have to go through and nitpick every every position. Well, the great thing to see here right off the bat is that I have a Deion Sanders at a 92 overall and a Richard Sherman. Cornerbacks are, of course, exactly. very important. So, that is, so that that's is, good that to is know. That is true. Um, <laughs> you also have D Ford, so he, he pulled him to the front. So just to go over the defense real quick, um, you have your safeties in the back, and then you have your linebackers on the side. And the offense, all of your skill players are on the bottom. Your skill players being, you know, your, your fast, smaller guys and your linemen are all at the top. On defense, it's not arranged the same way. You have the linebackers and the safeties on the same line, and you have your corners and your, your, um, your offensive linemen, your beef eaters down on the second row. So it's kind of arranged where they're, how they are on the field. So I, I kind of like that. Um, but just don't let it confuse you when you're setting your lineups. Right, okay. So for me, linebackers, I'm going to want speed at every single position if possible. So yeah. um, let's see. So Toomer and D Ford, great. Very happy with that. Got an 81 speed uh, Davis. Uh, yeah. 82 speed. Unfortunately, they don't. Oh, they do have Excel. 78 Excel. Yeah. Uh, 79 speed. 80 and a six. Foot Another four. good thing I like while you're going through this is the um, that main screen. If you haven't picked up on it already, it'll show whoever's better at that position like with the bar lighting up on their side. So when you're trying to go through something like finding a player with the best speed, you can quickly scroll through um, your lineup and then kind of see who has the um, you know the best. Like right, right now, D Fords is pretty high. You can scroll through and see if anybody's higher than D Fords. Without having to look at every position and click on every player individually, you can scroll through quickly and see who the fastest player would be to put at that position. So that's another good thing to do. Right, so what I just did right there was by clicking on yeah, it exactly. and just going through. Okay. Okay, exactly. so well, I do have fine. Ford, I do have Toomer, and I do have Davis, which are all the three fastest guys that I'm going to want anyway. Yep. Okay. So, so And the way you did it's good. Um, usually what I do is I'll generate, especially when you're first starting out and you're going to have a lot of cars that you know all come together at once, you generate your best lineup, and then you go back and look at each position and kind of decide, oh, they're my best player. Um, or, you know, maybe I want to compare some stats like you did at linebackers. Or, like, my, for me, I always am big on the stats of the person that I know I'm going to use it the most on defense because I don't care about necessarily their overall. I have a Cam Chancellor, 91 overall. He's the lowest overall on my team, but he's he has high hit power. He can catch, and he's tall. That's all I care about on somebody I'm using. Right. So positions like that, I go back and evaluate, you know, who do I really need there. Um, but for the most part, I'll generate the best lineup. And that's kind of the same thing you're doing. I think that's the best way to do it. Okay. That sounds good. So I got so, two wide receivers. Okay, perfect. Yep. So let me just go over the other player, the other options kind of that they give you at the bottom of the screen. Um, if you hit triangle again real quick, I want to make sure there was nothing else that I really wanted to hit on. I know that's how you generate your lineup. So you also change your team style here. So remember I said last video you could you could pick um you started with short pass and you got a Johnny Manziel. You can now go back and change your chemistry if you want to to be anything different. When you get to an 85 team overall, you'll be able to do two team styles. So um, for now, you just do one, and then you can see kind of what each one does for your team. So the higher the rating, the, the better it improves the position that it focuses on. Right. Okay. So 
I use personally, I have two unlocked and I use, um, I have two defensive ones because I care more about my defense locking up and I feel like my scheme more, do, more is what beats, does well for me on offense and beats people more so than like one or two higher of each position. Whereas my defense, I can only control one person at a time. So I rather the other 10 players around me have uh, a bit of a boost. But that's, that's again, very smart. Uh, yeah. So what I would do, just thinking right off the top of my head, is I would use short pass if I wanted to get Johnny Manziel in there pretty quickly to yeah. start off my team. Um, yeah. You know, maybe I like to run options, and I feel like I'm going to have better success if I have a guy like Johnny in there. But then if I win a couple yeah. games in a row and then get a different quarterback, then maybe I switch to more of a defensive one, like a yeah. run stuff or a man defense or zone defense. Yep. I imagine exactly. that you recommend zone defense. <laughs> is that... A little bit. <laughs> I mean, I would just assume. Uh, I mean, zone defense is played over 90% of the time, probably 95% exactly. of the time. So it just makes exactly. sense. Right. My two that I – the two that I use are zone defense and run stuff. I like zone D, obviously, because it gives you a boost to zone defense. Um, and then I use run stuff because uh, you have additional block shedding and and additional tack tackling points. So okay. those are the three things I think are the most important on defense. If you give me 11 guys that can play zone, pass block, and make the tackle once they pass um, – I mean, I'm sorry, not pass block, um, block shed. And then once they break the block, they make a tackle, I'm good. Okay. So Now you had suggested initially – that a lot of people like mm -hmm. to go with short pass because they know that they're going to get a Johnny Manziel when they start their team, and a lot of people do right. like that. But I do have a Tom Brady who is an 80 overall with a 91 throw power, <laughs> as you mentioned, and you said that you prefer him to be your starter right away. So considering right. that, if I now mm -hmm. switch my team style, am I going to lose Johnny Manziel? You are not going to lose Johnny Manziel. Okay. That's why I told I you to pick short pass. Exactly. Right. You started okay, with so short pass. So now that I've done it, do you now suggest that I should go before my first game and pick zone defense? Me personally, yes. I recommend okay. going zone D. Now, to be honest with you, um, you're not going to probably have much of a bonus. So your chemistry in the beginning doesn't much matter a whole lot. You don't want to get too hung up on that. Um, but you, if you if you plan on building a team around players that are zone defensive minded, then um, that would be the first play style that I would use for sure. Okay. Perfect. I th so I think other that, than that fact, definitely starts it out. So other than the fact that I do need to set my lineup, which I will kind of do privately because I will probably take a long time to kind of think maybe and mm -hmm. do some things, if I do anything at yep. all, is there anything else that we need to cover as far as setting your lineup and getting ready to play the first game, which I probably will do and actually upload a video of, of that first game with a commentary for the YouTube channel? even though my hand um, is killing me and I really don't want to edit videos, but <laughs> I will do that. Got to do it for the people, right? Yeah, got to do it for the YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Um, one real um, quick other thing. This isn't necessarily your lineup, but it is part of the same menu, and I would suggest doing this. Um, I can go over this real quick. If you hit back, you're also going to want to set up your, your um, uniforms because you need those to play. Set your stadium and set your coach. So if you go to coaching and equipment, they put it all in one screen for you. Okay. Now, when you first start the game, it asks you who your favorite team is, and it will automatically give you that coach and that uniform. You don't have to buy them. If there are other players that you are other uniforms you want later, you would buy them on the auction house. Um, same things with coaches and um, your stadium. Now, your same thing with your I'm sorry, your playbooks also. Now, the uniform that you pick will determine your symbol in the corner of your screen and who you're considered to be playing as. So, if you have the say um, Philbin as your coach, but you have the Patriots jersey, then you'll be a Patriot for that game, not because of your coach or because of where you're playing. It's all based on your uniform. So you could have um, you could have a uniform for the Dolphins and be playing in um, Gillette Stadium, and you would not be a Jet. You'd be a Dolphin. So the only thing that determines that would be your uniform. It took me a little while to kind of figure that out, which is why I wanted to harp on it a second. Okay. And do I have any other playbooks? So I just have, I'm stuck with Cardinals yeah. right off the get bat. You must play with the <laughs> yeah. book that you get. Exactly, when you first start, correct. Now, as you go along, um, and this will be in the second 
the I'm sorry, the third episode that we do. Um, once you start doing these solo challenges and stuff like that, you're going to get packs and you're going to be able to every pack will come with a, um, a different playbook and playbooks usually on the auction house go for about 300 coins. So as you can see, you have 2500. So you could actually go out and buy um, the playbook of your choice right now and be able to use that playbook before you started a real game. Okay. So you aren't necessarily stuck with it, but at first, that is the playbook it's going to default to. Do you want to know something? This is just me. What's up? And I think this would be amazing mm -hmm. for Mutt. They mm -hmm. need that. Like, they should just have, and they should have this even in ranked games, but in Mutt games. Mm -hmm. Because I was initially thinking, man, they should make it so you really don't have a choice on your playbook ever. But I know people <laughs> probably wouldn't play it as much then. But they should have right. some sort of thing where you can go into a mode, random playbooks. So literally, the game yeah. will pick you a random offense, random defense, and it's for it the brave it people out there that really, <laughs> you know, like there's a lot of people, like say myself or whoever, really mm -hmm. break down certain playbooks and focus on the key plays. That's the playbook they're going to use, and they're going to use it all year, and they're going to run their money plays, and they're going to do this and that. If they had sure. a mode where, and I know we're going off topic, but I just really, I love this idea. It gets me kind of excited. A random playbook you all always see people talk about like again going back to s gibbs and z farls love those guys so i'm watching them all the time yeah. so i'm going to talk about them but they do yeah. random random death right. right i think it would be That's... amazing to have a mode <laughs> where you essentially had random random well it doesn't even matter no random death they just pick it for you right and then random you, you don't have to worry about period. running into people if you're a rookie exactly. you don't have to worry yeah. about people running into money plays I sure. love that idea. Sure. I love. It would also encourage people to learn the game, I think, more. And that's what I'm always looking for. That's why I started yeah. my, like I was telling you before, where you don't have a custom. It encourages people to go out and learn, you know, concepts of the actual game instead of just learning one play that, um, you know, that might work for them a lot. And then, like I said, I wasn't deterring anybody from doing this. If that's how you play, that's how you play. But um, to actually learn a concept, you know, the curls flat concept to be cover three or cover two, to learn a slant that beats man, and you can run that out of any playbook. I think it would, um, you know, bring up the level of the players that we would play against on a daily basis. Maybe make the game a little bit more interesting for those of us it who would like make challenges. Players smarter. They wouldn't yeah, have to rely sure. on just going on YouTube or signing up or buying eBooks and stuff. Not that we want to get people away from that. But yeah, no. uh, it would it would just make them smarter. But that's a whole yeah. other video, probably. Uh, just yeah. kind of something that I thought I'd talk about. But because I brought that yeah. up, I'm not buying a playbook. I'm sticking with the Cardinals offense, and I'm just going to... Okay, cool. I applaud you. Know, you. Texans defense, I've never used it in my life, so we'll see what happens. Cool. Okay, so 27, right, minutes, so pretty much 27 minutes on a video on how to set your lineup. I mean, <laughs> that's just what we do. You know, That's what we do. this is the Man Lab YouTube channel. I know all you viewers right here are used to my hour long videos, so I know you don't care. You love it. You're bored. You're at work. <laughs> You're laying in bed, just sitting there trying to fall asleep watching videos. So I know you don't mind. <laughs> anyway, I'm guilty of that. Not gonna lie. For Mr. Clutch, I'm Mr. Smith, and we're gonna be back with another episode on what is it? Uh, the next thing we're going to go over is how to make start making some mutt coins and um, starting playing solo challenges. Perfect. Okay, so we'll see you guys soon with another episode on what he just mentioned. And we're also going to get a commentary on my first mutt game. And please don't let me lose. See you guys soon. <laughs>